is Sunday, about eight o'clock, and we are headed over to my sister and brother-in-law's house to have brunch because my father-in-law's in town. I'm drinking some iced coffee. This really isn't Starbucks cold brew. It's just coffee that I stuck in this bottle and then chilled. It works kind of the same. I almost always drink some. Uh, let's go to the. Let's go eat breakfast. I hear you. You want to get out? I'm hungry. <laughs> Morning. All right, we made the first family outing of the day um, to my sister and brother-in-law's house. We had breakfast, played around. Now we're back at home, Cal's taking a nap, and then I'm gonna work out. I'm making coffee right now for the workout, but I'm gonna work out, and then after Cal wakes up from his nap, and we're all ready again, we're gonna go to my mom's house, and we're gonna do another Father's Day thing over there. So, so far, so good. Um, you may have noticed, we finally got our new car, which I will show you guys soon. Kelsey's organizing her whole band the way she wants it. That's our new car. After she gets done doing that, and probably after my workout, I'll, I'll take you guys and show you the car. And it's pretty sweet. It's the nicest car I've ever owned. I think it's the nicest car Kelsey's ever owned. The last, the, the other nice car we had, the car that we wrecked, it didn't even have power locks. So this thing has power locks and power windows. That's a huge upgrade. Plus it's got a bunch of other fancy things. And it's got real low mileage. It'll be a great car. Me and Kyler are gonna work out. He is very happy about that. Are you happy? I'm excited. Okay, I was gonna film some of my workout and then I just did it. So I uh, I did some power cleans, some hang power cleans, some upper body pump stuff, just hypertrophy like bicep curls, tricep extensions, lateral raises, that kind of thing. And then I went for like a 20 minute run. But now I want to show you guys our new car. Let's, let's go this way. It's like cribs, but, but car edition. Okay, so it is a 2014, I believe, Honda Odyssey. So, so dad life is like official now because we have a van and I'll be driving it sometimes. But primarily it's my wife's car. I'm still going to drive that little beater most days to, and work, to work and back from work. This will be more like the family mobile. Um, but it's super nice, right? I mean, it's only got, it literally only has like 60. Ah, oh, it's locked. Damn it. Okay, yeah, so it's a, uh, it's a 2014 Honda Odyssey. It's got 58,000 miles on it. It used to be my father-in-law's and uh, my mother-in-law's, my wife's stepmom's, um, and she drove it, took really great, great care of it, did all the family stuff in it. Um, you know, so it, it's one thing to buy a car from someone you don't know, then it's another thing to buy a car from someone you do know. So we got the car for a really great deal. Um, and you know they really did us a favor which we were super appreciative of so it's way nicer than what we have and it's probably even an up it's it's an even additional upgrade because the car that kelsey used to drive she couldn't take the uh more than she couldn't take the three boys that she watches every day during the week anywhere so she was basically stuck at home um during the day they couldn't go out and do an activity or go to the pool or anything like that so now that she has this car, she'll be able to put, you know, two, three, four car seats in here and haul them if they need to go to a doctor's appointment or they need to, they want to go out and just get something to eat or whatever it is, um, she'll have that freedom. So a huge upgrade. 
Um, so let's, I just want to show you guys some of these features because I've never had these features in any car we've ever owned. And I don't think Kelsey has either. So it's, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, so first off, we've got power windows and power locks, which we did not have in the other car. Um, we've got these like, um, like lane watch. So if like you start to go outside the, the lines, it'll alert you. It's kind of nice. Uh, cruise control right here. We've got uh, like legit audio setup. It's Bluetooth, so you can put your phone to it. Um, AC front and rear control, which is awesome. You can control the audio too from the front and the the rear separately, just kind of like the AC. And then, and then one of the coolest things about this car is you can, like I said, you can control the audio from the front to the back. So if you have kids and you go on a trip or like we drive to Kansas City, as the kids get older, there's actually like rear audio headphones, so they can literally like watch. Um, a movie because it has a DVD player and they can be listening to that while we are also listening to what we want to listen to up here so that's it's really cool uh, it's even got a cooler um, or I guess it's they call it a cool box but basically it'll if you have a cold drink that you want to keep cold you can stick it in there and it'll keep it cold it won't necessarily make hot things cold but it will make keep cold things cold so that's kind of cool cup holders uh, and then of course all the room and this is the big biggest thing for Kelsey is she can get a car seat here a car seat there another car seat and likely a fourth car seat in the very back um, which is important because in I think I have a niece that's coming in August and then Kelsey will start watching that niece in August September October, like October November so then Kelsey will have four kids she's watching and, but she'll still have a car that can lug those four kids around everywhere. So that's awesome. So yeah, we're really excited about it. We were working with just that car for a while, and we were working with no car for a while because I thought that car was broken. Turns out that car wasn't broken, it was just out of gas. Um, this will be good. So we do have a payment on this car. We're hope it's for, uh, it's right now it's set for five years. I'm hoping we can pay it off in like two and a half, two. Um, as we just kind of pay pay down our debt, we can throw more money towards it. Uh, but basically, right now, um, this car and our student loans are our only debt. So that's kind of our focus for the next uh, like two to five years is getting all that squared away and and you know paid down as much as possible. But then my plan after that is to seriously consider start saving and looking for a home, or saving and looking for a place to build a home one or the other so we got a van I'm officially a dad I'm so sweaty it's hot it's a lot nicer today there's actually a breeze but it's hot um, so it's almost two hours since Cal went down for his nap which means he should be getting up any moment now so I'm gonna start packing up my stuff basically I live in a perpetual state of packing and unpacking my backpack. I unpack my backpack to set up my laptop so I can watch YouTube while I work out, and I pack it all up, take it inside, and I unpack it to edit videos and do work, and I pack it all up in the mornings to take it to work with me. It's just basically packing and unpacking, which I've, I've gotten used to. Um, I don't know. I mean, probably people could argue I don't need to carry my backpack everywhere with me, but I kind of feel naked when I don't have all my stuff with me. Um, Plus, I always feel like you never know when you're gonna get like a solid couple hours to just like hammer out some work. Um, which like definitely something I've learned uh, as a parent is you have to be super opportunistic. And I've actually talked about this as it relates to fitness, um, but it really is as it relates to everything in life is most of the time your day is built around your kid's schedule. So all that stuff you used to do like you had to have that perfect coffee mug and that perfect setting in the perfect place with your desk to do the perfect amount of work. It just doesn't work like that anymore. You basically just have to seize the opportunity to accomplish your tasks whenever it's provided. Sometimes that means super late at night. Sometimes that means the middle of the day when they've gone down for a nap. Sometimes it means 
um, right in the middle of the evening time when they're, you know, being uh, surprisingly chill and relaxed and just watching videos next to you, you can bang out some work. Um, so yeah, that's why I kind of have all my stuff with me. One, I feel naked without it. Two, um, I kind of need it to be, be able to execute on that opera or opportunistic strategy that I just described. And as that, how that relates to fitness, which I've talked about this on my other tra channel, Freeborn Training Systems, is you just, your workout, you just have to know what you need to do that day for your workout. If you get up super early and knock it out before they get up, great. Uh, but if it fades into the early, into the day, you're just basically gonna have to take the opportunity when it prevents itself. You may be right in the middle of something, but the minute they go to sleep, the minute they seem agreeable and relaxed and chill, work out then. That means in, in your house, in your home gym, at your gym that you go to, great. Throw them in the car, take them to the daycare, put them in there. Um, but yeah, just opportunistic. And probably that applies more to fitness if you work out at home. The whole going to the gym thing, that probably has to be more planned. But. All right, I'm gonna go take a shower and get unsweaty, which getting unsweaty in the summertime for me is not really a thing. Uh, I get less sweaty and then I get more sweaty and less sweaty. It just, that's just how it is. Wow. Hey, which one you want? Yeah. All right, so got ready. We went to Academy Sports. I got myself cheap. A uh, cheap pair of sunglasses. We got Cal uh, floaty for swimming at the pool. Now we're at my mom's house. We're gonna swim. We're gonna hang out. They're smoking and grilling. It's gonna be a good day. So I'm gonna switch over to the GoPro and go have some fun outside. To go home, Kyler. Hey, did you have fun at Papa's? Did you like seeing Papa call and Nana? Mia, you saw everybody this weekend, huh? That was fun. Okay, if I haven't uh, mentioned it yet, today, um, today was actually Father's Day, so that's what all the family stuff was about. But before I ended the vlog, I want to really quickly just kind of share, I think like the most important thing I think when it comes to being a father, um, just based on my granted and acknowledged limited experience of just a little under two years. The most important thing, in my opinion, is to love your kid unconditionally and make sure that they constantly are aware of how proud and happy 
you are that they are yours. I think that if everything starts there, I think there's nowhere else for you to end up but in a good place. Uh, because all your actions um, and words are going to come from that center. Uh, and I just don't think that anything negative, bad, or detrimental c c can come for when you're centered in a place like that. So, granted, um, I know I'm a young dad, and I've yet to experience maybe the, the, the next stages of my children's um, development and maturing, but I think that that will hold true regardless. Maybe we'll get into some of the more specifics or details of, of my, my dad philosophy, but it's getting late. I want to go to bed. So I just want to share that like most important thing and I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys had a great Father's Day if you're a dad and you're watching this. See you guys tomorrow.